Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over setting up your Dishonored with my newest version of ENB and SweetFX. I will leave a link under the video here if you'd like to add those files to your game. You can get them here at Nexus Mods or at ModDB. And with ModDB, you just click the Download Now. Nexus Mods you want to go to files and download the first one here, EMB with Sweet Effects for Dishonored, and just do the manual download. Once you have that file, you just want to open it and minimize the browser. Then you want to open your game folder. With Steam, you just have to go to your game in the library, right click on it, select properties go to local files and browse local files and that will take you to the dishonored folder then you would go to binaries and win32 you can also open it through this PC here you just go to your C drive program files steam steam apps common and you'll find your games listed there and you would just open the game folder and again go to the binaries and the win32 folder once you're here you just have to drag and drop the contents of the download into the game folder and you can close the download at this point you're finished but rather than closing the game folder window just yet you should run the game and make sure that everything is working correctly and if so you should see the ENB running in the upper left and the sweet effects should work by using the pause break to toggle them on and off you will also have to turn off your in-game anti-alias or the sweet effects won't work and you just have to go into your graphic settings in the game in order to do that. I do also have some images and such for doing it on the mods themselves. And as you can see, it's under graphics and you just want to turn that anti-aliasing mode off. Now, the next part I'm going to do is just if you want to do any settings changes or you have any troubleshooting that you have to do with the actual program because it doesn't launch or the graphics and textures don't quite look right in the game. So I'll just go over that part now. If you happen to launch the game and it crashes or as I said the graphics or the textures don't look quite right then what you want to do is exit the game and you'll just go to the game folder here and go to the alt d3 d9 folder and what you want to do is go through each one of these here until you find the best one for your video card occasionally you will have to switch these depending on your video card in order to get it to work properly and what you would do is start with the first one here and just copy it don't cut it that way you leave the original and then go back to the win32 folder and just paste it over top of the existing one there and again restart your game if you still have the problem then go back and go through those alternate folders trying each one of those four until you find the appropriate one if it corrects the problem then you don't really have to worry about anything after that point just close the game folder and run the game normally as far as if you want to make any sweet effect settings changes you don't actually go to the sweet effect settings text here if you look at the preset text here, it's actually directing it to the SweetFX presets dishonored text. 
and if you're actually going to change the setting file if you want to run it with a different name settings file then just change that name to match here and what you would do to change the settings is just go to the Sweet Effects presets and the Dishonored TXT here. And you can change the settings as you like. Now, if you do have an issue where you start the game and it's really dark, almost black, and saturated looking, then open this file here and under the Choose Effects, go to the Define use SMAA anti-aliasing and turn that to zero then close and save the file Restart the game and that should correct that issue for you One last thing if this mod causes any lag or FPS issues Then what you want to do is again go back to the win32 folder here and open the EMB series I and I under the third group, Global, the third line down, Allow Anti-Alias, just change that to zero, save and close the file, and that should correct the if issue if it's being caused by this add-on. I'll just go over a couple other things that I sometimes do with my EMB setups and my games. And that's actually adding the game exe to clean mem. I will leave a link in the description below in the playlist. If you look through the playlist, you'll actually find the setup video for that. And if you've already watched that, then you'll know what I'm going to do here. And that's basically copying the dishonored exe and then opening the clean mem and running the settings wizard and going to that only list that you would have set up in the setup video and then just clicking the plus adding the game exe and just say ok next and finish and you're all done with that if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more content like this please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.